So today after market close, it's December 5th, we have a massive update coming out to the interface of Quant Crawler and Quant Crawler is becoming conversational. So when it runs your analysis, you can ask it questions as to why did it think this? Why did it not do this? And have it break down why it gave you the analysis it did, which a lot of people have been asking for. So let me quickly show you as fast, but also as thorough as I can, everything that's coming today after market close to Quant Crawler. So this right here is the homepage. If you guys are in the Discord, you saw that I had a news ticker running right here. Well, when I got ready to push it live, it broke. So the news ticker will actually be available before Monday open. But when I put the news ticker in, it kicks this whole entire thing way off the screen. You can't even see it. So to not hold up the deployment of all of these updates over a news ticker, I'm just going to fix that one live. So uh, if you saw that, it will be coming. It's not there right now. Um, also had a couple people reach out asking about the Black Friday deal and if there's any way they can do it. We are no longer doing annual memberships for Quant Crawler. That was a Black Friday only deal, but I did add a six month deal where essentially you get one month free, $49.99. But if you guys have been following me for a while, you know you get a free 30 day trial, then it's $9.99 a month after that for all of this right here. There is nothing on here that you do not get with the $10 a month, but if you want to essentially get a month free, it's only $10 savings, but there is a six month deal on here now. Since we're already looking at the top, let's just address that too. The top today, we have our top tickers. This is being updated to be a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Um, on this screen, it's a little bit small because I have it all expanded out on my large monitor, which is the one you're actually seeing here. So it will be a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Now, when you're in here, the left-hand side has been completely redone. It has been truncated and a little smaller. It was taking up this whole entire gap over here, made it a little bit easier, and all of these are collapsible right out the gate, so uh, you don't have to have them open when you get in here, and it's a little easier to see. The Instruments tab is unchanged. This was an update that rolled out last week, but just so you can see, it is unchanged. The Roadmap has been updated. There's now a Phase 2 progress bar. We are currently working on bar chart integration where you will not need to upload your charts specifically at this point. And then phase two, I have completed most of this. There are a couple of things I still want to do. Like when you upload charts at this time, I want those charts saved to your profile. Um, just kind of configuring back end stuff on that. Um, we are going to have a Discord notifications when I do an announcement. There will be a link that says new announcement posted X amount of minutes ago. Click here to check it out so you can see what I'm saying in Discord um, as I don't update the announcements section on the website because, we one, we don't have one, and two, uh, it's not that convenient to update a website for that. Uh, so I do it in Discord, and it will automatically ping and pull that in. Um, I'm going to be working on performance heat maps and... Uh, where you can actually save templates of your favorite instruments and things like that. So that's coming. Um, this has been updated. Now, when you are on the performance analytics page, yours will not update to anything with charts and graphs or anything like that until you actually enter in your first track trade. So let's do that, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So remember, when you click through these tabs, there's nothing here. You, this doesn't actually kick in until you click that button, and let's just do a template one. We'll say GC, we did one. Let's say this was, we're just going to do random numbers, 4,900. And the target was 5,100. You actually went in at 5,000 and you exited at 5,100. You made $10,000. Uh, what did you learn? Nothing. And you click save trade. Now, once you get back here to the history, you start to see total trades, your win rate, your total P&L, your worst trade, best trade, and you start to get all these breakdowns. So as you log and track more trades, these obviously will update to track your win rate. You get your cumulative PL, your win loss distribution, and your performance by market. So if you do futures and forex, you will have four bars here that you are moving up and down. So you can see where you're most successful. Then you come over to the calendar. You can see once you track your first trade right here, on Friday, you made $10,000 and you had one green day down here at the bottom and your best day was 10,000. You will have a tracking calendar that you can use for any platform. You just have to input the details here. You can go to analytics and do performance by time of day, emotion analysis and strategy performance. So is what those are is right here back in the track trade system. If you would do strategy, you can do orb, pullback where you waiting a reversal a scalp or a breakout so let's say an orb and your emotion on it 
Did you follow the plan? Was it FOMO, a revenge trade? Did you overtrade or were you chasing an entry? This is your place to be honest with your strategy. So when you go and look back at it, why did I make a bunch of money this week? Why did I lose a bunch of money? Did you get lucky and you FOMO'd in and you made money? Or do you consistently make money because you follow your plan? That's what's going to update here over time, the more you track to actually figure out what your patterns are. Then when you come into history, this is where you will see all of your trade history and everything going. Once I get the chart saving mechanism on the back end, you'll be able to click these. And when you go into, and this will actually open up when you click it, you'll be able to actually see the quant crawler analysis you did if it was a quant crawler trade plus the charts you uploaded. So you can just see and verify, hey, this was a pretty good read by quant crawler. I made 10 grand. The other thing you can do in here, just back on the main screen, click this flex PL button. You can do copy or you can share it directly to Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can copy and paste this, you can download it, you can put it in our Discord, you can put it on your social media, whatever you're doing, you can track your trading performance. So this is the performance analytics tab. And the coolest thing on here, honestly, is the calendar um, and being able to see your emotional analysis as long as you track it and you don't lie. Of course, you have your analyzers over here. I'm not going to get into the analyzers. And then also the indicators right here. This five minute opening range break with filters is the paid members only um, or on a trial. You have to be a quant crawler member, I should say, to have access to this one. This one is private. You have to have this link right here in order to access it. I'm not going to click it here on the video because everyone watching the video would have to just be able to grab it and not register on quant crawler. Again, you can get a 30 day trial. It's $9.99 a month after that, or we have a six month deal going where you get one month free for 50 bucks. Super reasonable for what we've built here um, and then also down here the resources section you go to tools it opens up its own tab now this is going to be its own portal in a sense this is where i'm adding in like i've told you guys before i spent ten thousand dollars on day trading education classes uh in person one-on-ones in san diego that were basically just a drink fest it was an absolute waste of everyone's time um, you can go into the position size calculator, the risk visualizer, your win rate calculator. These are all very easy. If you have a 40% win rate and you target a one to two risk to rewards at $100 and number of trades right here, you would be at $1,700. So you can start to see with your win rate all the way down to at 33%, you lose money. If your strategy was 34% successful with a one to two risk to reward at all times, you technically are a profitable trader. So that's the win rate calculator that is new. Now we have session times right here where you can see this is specific to your time zone that you're in. I'm in Pacific Standard. If you are in Eastern, it will be Eastern. If you are in any time zone in the world, it will pull to your time zone that your computer is set to. So you can see right here, this red bar, this is the live session. This red bar moves and tracks. Right now it's only New York. Then you can see you have some overlap between Sydney and Tokyo and then Tokyo, London at the end, and there's some overlap here in the morning with London, New York. It will just show you the trading session times and where you're at. There's London, New York overlap right there, and then key market times right here, best trading windows, and avoid trading during these, and then we will also have the news ticker scanning, and uh, we will probably have a news section in here in case you wanted to just keep this up and running while you are trading. Then again, we have another link to the instrument tab right here. Um, it's redundant, but it is a trading tool, so I have it in here. Now on our guide section, this is another one. Uh, this is one where more of the $10,000 that I wasted is going to be put um, because I am recreating all of it better, easier to understand. The most important thing in here is the quick start guide for Quant Crawler. You can watch this video of how you set up your charts, how you should structure everything, and kind of walk you through exactly start to finish how you actually analyze a trade out. Um, five steps to your first analysis right here. It walks you through it and then some common questions and you can go immediately to the analyzers to get started right there. The best practices in the orb strategy guide were already there previously, so I'm not going to go into those. They're PDF downloadable items that you can just find best practices about quant crawler and then print out uh, my five minute opening range break strategy if you want to have it in person. If you're a brand new trader, we now also have a glossary that will just give you like acronym breakdowns of what things mean and what they are. If you're just trying to learn, you can get in here and click around. If you're paper trading and learning, that's a great place to start if you don't know all the acronyms and the shorthand that people talk or type. 
And then my favorite thing right here, I told everybody the other the other day, this is probably my $9,999 savings guide right here because if I would have just got this out of all the training I paid for, I wouldn't have needed all that training and wasted all that money because I didn't really get anything from it except you have to do your homework. So weekly prep on Sundays, these check marks, you can go through and check it right here and just cross things off the list. You can print this. You can then just reset everything. So it has your Sunday prep, your daily prep every day for pre-market, your pre-trade checklist. Before you go into a trade, take 15 seconds and quickly scan. Boom, boom, boom. Do I have them? Yes. If any are unchecked, do not click the button and stop and make sure you're making the right decision. And then at the end of the day, post-session review. Make sure that you are reviewing the day. Take 10 minutes at the end of the day, win or lose. Once the market's closed, did you think the market was going to go bullish? And it did. Great. Logged it and you were good. And just you can check over time if you're consistent in what you're seeing pre-market and on Sundays. If the days are panning out how you think, you just get more consistent over time if you use this. And then you can journal your session notes so you don't have to write them down. These will save to your profile as well and uh, they will be in there for you to keep essentially forever if you want to. So that is what that is. And the last update is the feedback now requires an email address right here. Uh, people are putting in tickets and asking me questions and I don't have a way to reply to them um, because when you do one of these feedback tickets, it comes to me at no reply at quantcrawler.com. So I see what you're saying, but if you don't put an email, I can't reply to you. So this was optional. It is now mandatory. You have to put in an email address. So when you ask me a question, I can reply to you. That also just helps the um, Discord when people are in there saying, I sent Aaron a question and he never replied to me. Well, you sent Aaron a question, but I didn't have a way to reply to you. So now you have to put in your email so I have that opportunity to get back with you. Um, this works on all of these tabs right here, and you can now upload screenshots of your issues instead of having to email them to me separately. You can just drag and drop screenshots in here, and they will be included in your ticket so I can track it. So guys, that right there is everything that has rolled out as the update for December 5th on Quant Crawler. We are going to have several weeks now of hopefully no updates unless they're hot fixes, uh, which we will get done quickly. Um, you guys know me, I am always working on this project, but right now my focus has completely shifted away from all of these side tasks because I am actually needed on bar chart now. We're rebuilding the framework and we are getting there to um, getting bar chart integration where you no longer need to upload your charts for your analysis on Quant Crawler. Again, guys, all of this you get a 30 day trial on. After that, it's $10 a month, or we have a couple promotions going where you can actually save a couple months. It's not big savings, but it's only $10 a month. So there's not a lot of big savings to be had when your product is only $10 a month. So even giving one month free is still, in the grand scheme of things, a pretty good deal. So um, I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do better, um, what you want to see more of in the future, and join the Discord. Look forward to seeing you guys there.